Hello everyone and welcome to the first video. So we had the introduction yesterday. This is series one where we talk about start to finish and every day I'll break apart one subject within. So this week we're going to talk about buying a house, right? Buying from start to finish. We're going to talk about pre-approval process, making an offer, different loans, inspection, escrow, contingencies, all that fun stuff. Talk about why buy, right? Why buy why not rent, depending on market, whether it's a buyer's market, whether it's a seller's market, right? So today is your, your first introduction to buying. And then next week we'll talk about selling and we'll just keep going on and on and just keep going, you know, into every little aspect of real estate. So buying 101, you are thinking about buying a house, whether it's this week, next week, maybe next year. It all depends on what's best for you. But regardless, if it's today, next year, you need to start with a pre-approval. I say this constantly, all the time. It's the most important thing. The reason why I always hound you to get a pre-approval is this. Sometimes we just assume, I'm gonna use that word a lot, assume that our credit's where it needs to be or our debt to ratio is perfect. But assuming is not 100%. You are really not buying the house. Let's look at real estate like this. What you're doing is you're going to a bank. This is, makes it clearer for you to understand. You go into a bank and you're saying, I wanna look for a house. Can you buy me that house? And I'll live in that house and I'll pay you back for that house. And after I pay you back, then it's my house. The bank's gonna say, sure, I'll buy a house for you, but I gotta make sure that your, your criteria, your credit, everything is good for us. So we wanna make sure that you're good enough that we can buy the house for you and you can put X amount of dollars down payment and you can live in there and then we'll give you the house when you pay us off. You go, okay, perfect, let's, let's do that. What do I need to do? Well, here's an application. How much do you make? What debt do you have out there? Your taxes, the whole nine, right? And that's kind of how real estate works when you're buying a house. So why would you not want to get that done right away? So the bank's either gonna say, you're good to go, right? Or they're gonna say, you're not good to go. You need to get all this stuff straightened out first before you have to fix this, this, this. Now, especially if you're not ready for a year, you go, good, I have now one year advantage to get this done. So then when I am ready, I'm good to go. And I can't tell you how many times I've had buyers say, no, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll do it when I'm ready. And then they do it and they go, oh my God, I can't find a house. I can't buy a house. It's going to take me six months. That's the reason I say to do it. So you want to get your pre-approval done right away. Now, one thing we're going to get into, especially throughout the week, is how the advantage of working with one bank over the other via buyer's market versus seller's market. And we'll talk about that. We're going to talk about the contracts, right? So you got your pre-approval done. And again, we'll go over that more tomorrow. Now you're ready to find a home. The best way to find a home, being on a search criteria and how to do that. We're gonna talk about how, guess what? It doesn't cost you a dollar to hire an agent to find you a home. And why you should never pay a transaction fee and when you should pay an agent a buyer's fee, a buyer's agent fee. And again, I'll talk to you more about that this week about the difference between buyer's market and seller's market. So the whole reason I'm kind of breaking this down right now with the, the whole buying, which is gonna be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we're really gonna get deep into it, is buying a house in a buyer's market is so different than buying a house in a seller's market. And if you've seen within the past year and a half, it's the craziest seller's market you've ever seen. People are overpaying, paying for appraisal gaps, the whole nine, which four or five years ago, you could do whatever, you can ask for whatever you want. And there's so many little things that make it so different that I want to go over everything with you. And I have it all written down. I'm going to say how a pre-approval from one bank is going to be different in the, in the market. How you make an offer is going to be different. Escrow, um, we're going to be type of loan, contingencies, inspection, appraisal, taxes, how to understand taxes when buying a house, PMI, uh, why buy versus rent, everything. So I want you to stay tuned. You know, this is day one, the first video ever. We're going to talk about all about buying. But the very first thing right now is if you're ready to buy and you're going to get your paper and your pen and you're going to say, I'm going to follow Karen along. He's going to teach me all about how to buy a house. Number one, get pre-approved. And remember, 
You don't have to use that bank. Just get pre-approved. Use a local lender. Use someone amazing. I'll share right now, after this video, a bunch of people that you can call to get pre-approved. We'll talk about why a local lender might be better than a big bank in a market. Even if the, some other bank might be giving you a better interest rate. Yeah, I'm going to blow your mind there on that one, right? There's a lot of different things that we're going to talk about. So, all together, first things first, pre-approval. And then we're going to go over everything. Any questions you guys have, please comment anytime. Hey, can you make sure you teach us this within this? Can you teach us this? Because I'm going to be step by step about buying a property. Then we're going to talk about selling. We're going to talk about marketing throughout the whole weeks. I'm excited. Pre-approval. Let's get into buying 101 for the rest of the week.